Hey, good morning, guys. So the biggest concern for me with Mullen stock right now, and I talked about this on this weekend's video, I believe it was Saturday or maybe Friday, is, and this isn't really a concern, this is actually very bullish if this happens, being my own opinion, is this inverse head and shoulders that could be forming right now, right? We have this obvious trend line right here. That doesn't really matter as much as us holding the 50 on the FIB and then maybe the 618 level. So these areas, just so you're aware, is about 1258 and then about 1125. Okay, so it's not gonna be exact, but I would wanna hold these areas. Worst case scenario, if we do come crashing down, would be 939. We need to hold these three areas to move higher. Everything I use is really based off of Fibonacci, uh, RSI, and Stochastic. The RSI is actually doing something different that it's never done. It actually broke its most recent high of about 45, 46 on the RSI right here on a daily time frame, which before it hits it and then it pulls back and we make new all-time lows. You can see right here, we're building some nice structure and we're not making new all-time lows, we're actually making higher lows and we're climbing. So I would think that we would come right back down. Like I said on Saturday's video, we're already pulling back right now in pre-market. We're at 1360 as I'm making this video. It is 5.51 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If we can come back and create this right shoulder right here and go up, then I think that would be very good news for us Molin holders. Now, here's the thing that I think we might pull back a little more is if we don't get any news today, if there's no news today, then this would make a ton of sense on why Molin would pull back and then maybe they drop news tomorrow and that would confirm this inverse head and shoulders right here and then we would move much higher. Another thing I like about this on the daily time frame is right now we're trading above the middle Keltner channel, the, the middle Keltner line, excuse me, Right now, that's at about 1252, right where this red line is. So again, if we can pull back and retest this and move much higher, the yellow line on the Keltner channel is much higher above us, which is good. Um, but we know what happened last time. We actually ran up. We came down. We ran back up. We didn't break the old high of 1874. We actually got as high as about 18 or 1798. So these are just some things I wanted to update you on just a technical standpoint, because I think Mullen is moving based off technicals. I think the dilution has slowed down. Obviously, we've had good news come out. But these would be areas that I would be looking probably to enter in. Um, again, this is not financial advice. This is just my own opinion. And this is just with looking at the charts and looking at the news. More positive news for EV companies like tesla tesla delivery numbers are out tesla produced about four hundred ninety five thousand vehicles and delivered four hundred eighty four thousand, which is crazy when you think about mullen mullen delivered like 50 class one vans and then like 75 or something class three so it's crazy what a company can turn into uh tesla's for, uh, fourth quarter deliveries four hundred eighty four thousand versus estimated 483 so they actually beat which is good. And that's why you see uh, Tesla up in pre-market now. It's trading at 249. We actually came down to like 245 and then the numbers came out and now it's rallying. So guys, don't forget to drop a like. Totally forgot to say that in this, in this morning's video. I just want to get right into it for you. I know um, we're all kind of skeptical with Mullen right now. We want to make sure that it can move much higher. And I would Hope that it does create this inverse head and shoulders so that we can potentially move much higher. But regardless, hope you have a great day. Don't forget to grab your coffee, of course, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.